Hey guys, welcome back to Miss C Can. I'm Miss C, and today we can play Niche. Welcome back. Uh, we are back with the Bishop Tribe. We have poor Thisbe, who has who is on her last day up here, who she has found so many bugs, so many bugs. Um, we finally were able to bring in that Baryena, or that Baryena snout after so much time of breeding and rebreeding and breeding again, Paris was born to Odysseus and Tari. Tari was actually pushed aside um, because she really didn't have a lot going for her as well as Berenice, as well as the Berenice, um, as, as well as the Berenice genes go. But all those hidden genes that she was carrying, all these inactive stuff, the, the Berenice snout, the, the, the inactive hind legs, all that stuff she was able to pass down and help bring about Paris, who will hopefully be the mother of of, of this uh, tribe, this our, our bishop tribe, and bring about a new age for this heroic line that we have. Um, Athena was supposed to was supposed. I, I hope that Athena would have given us some nice cubs, but she didn't. What's fun about Odysseus is that his mother was one of was, was a was a favorite one of mine, Iolite. And Iolite passed away, and she only had two cubs. One of them was Odysseus, and that's really cool. Her second cub is over here, and he just made it to adulthood. So, And because he was sick, we don't name the sick ones until they reach adulthood. So his name is going to be... Da, da, da. We're going to call him Zeus. Close enough. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have the rest of the family slowly but surely picking their way through and deciding what type of future that they're going to have. We only have five ports moving into the jungle area, so that means I can only bring the best of the best. So we get to have a fun time breeding and checking out who's going to be what and moving on into the future so, um, and, and, and really refining a, what we want the Bishop Tribe to be. And so, it, and so, in order to reach that goal, we are going to really hammer it into this island. <laughs> so we're going to move on to the next day. This. All right. Amber. Amber has H and A. Tavon has G and F. And Ivy Berry? He has H and G. She has H and A. I'm not interested in having a bunch of sickly cubs. So Lamar is going to come over here. Well, I keep hearing somebody playing with the water. So who, who is playing with the water? Oh, someone new has appeared. Hello, who are you? Oh, he's sick. He's got, he's got the F gene. Oh, he's got poisonous fangs. Ah, oh, he's got toxic body. That's an interesting one. That's an interesting combination right there. Hmm. Helen? We're going to invite him in. Freya got sick, but maybe we can work with that. Um, Renuto is going to come way over here, and he just found a nest. So already he's starting to pull his own weight. And usually we don't invite the, in the sickly ones, but he's got the toxic body, and I really like the toxic body. It's cool looking. So Jasper too, and his mate Freya. They're going to come over here. We're going to see what, what this side of the family does. Um, these these two young lo lovers that just met. Let's see. Thisbe passed away. Goodbye, Thisbe. Sputnik. And we have Megara. We'll cut that away. 
Echo's gonna come down near near the water. All right. Oh no, Odysseus, you lost your mate. Oh. Well, young Paris has lost her mother. Ooh, distasteful appearance, strong voice. She has. Oh. Mm. Paris, you're a bunch of fun, aren't you? I like you. Um. Rah. That's okay. Athena's gonna come over here, and she's just gonna start gently picking at the grass. And I don't think Odysseus is going to have any more cubs. I think his 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 job is going to be looking after his young son over here. Uh, let's see. Coming back over this way. Ivy Bear is going to come sit in this nest, and she's going to mate with, uh, with Heat Pessonite. Oh, and she has very low fertility, so it's gonna, it's, it takes a while for her to make a baby. So, hopefully, hopefully that won't turn around and bite us in the tail later. I think I did throw down, um, high fertility for her. Sorry, wrong button. Yes, I did. And here, okay. And Amber and Tavon are gonna have a cub, but as I said before, we're not interested in having. We're gonna throw in some of these regular noses. We're gonna throw in some of these claws, and I think we're gonna play with some patterns over here. And uh, healthy blood clotting, and high fertility. Awesome. So when when we get a chance, those two are gonna be mates. And Cherry, Cherry, B and A, H and G. Well, I think Cherry might smell a certain handsome young straight, a certain handsome young male male up this way. And we're gonna send her out that way a little bit, and he'll see her coming. Uh, Ra. Ooh. Or do we want Ra? Hmm. I think we might want raw. B and F, H and G, A and G, B and A. Yeah, let's throw let's let's have raw go up and visit. Well, actually, Lamar might have have a couple of mates, and I'm cool with that idea. Let's see. Let's visit the Berry side of the family, or the original home of the Berry side of the family, and. Shade Berry, Bane Berry, Mistletoe, and Blackberry. Blackberry, don't pull from another berry bush. Pull this, okay? Oh, today's Kyanite's last day, and so Kyanite's just gonna curl up next to his mate, and they're going to enjoy enjoy sunning themselves. One final day. And if that's the case, Molly Garnet's gonna start running up that way. He'll spend one last day with his father. But he's gonna start running up over here and start clearing out this area. Yep. I think that's what where everybody's, everybody's slowly but surely moving up that way. And we're ready for one more day. I don't think I have any cubs available just yet. Got quite a few sick ones though. Let's see. And Aries is here. Yep, Paris. Paris is gonna be a ton of fun. I'm I'm really loving her. Let's see. Mm, F and A. There's nothing wrong with Athena. We could try for another cub with her. Throw in some of that. And some of this. But it won't be with Odysseus. So, who would be a good mate for her? Not you, Pegasus. What about Sputnik? B and A. F and A. And we run the risk of, um... Now doubling up on the immunities. But 
but they won't be directly related. Uh, let's let's give it a shot. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, oh well. You'll have to join Mira over here with her really, really sharp claws. Let's see. Echo? Echo's gonna call it out to Megara and be like, Hey, look, there's fish! And like, fish? And so, and so, and so we might have some more water-based creatures coming, coming out of this way. We'll see. Uh, moving on. Uh-oh. Looks like Jasper too got caught up with some bugs. That's not good. Okay, those two are together. Can you pick anything? Yes, you can. Okay. So what's going to happen is he's going to sit on the opposite side of the berry bush. And that's how they're going to do. Moving backwards. Oh. We ended up with a cute little baby girl. Hello. <laughs> welcome, welcome. She is very pod. She's got medium ears. K and H. she got good fertility. Looking good. We're going to name her after the berry side of the family, and we're going to call her Nightshade. Done. Right. Meanwhile, we're gonna have these two come over here. She's gonna throw down a nest, looking good. We've got nests everywhere. Everybody's doing good. Ooh, and I think Cherry and Ra just saw L Larry Mar. Larry Mar. Oh, we'll call you Larry, okay? We ju they just saw Larry r jump up through the grass and slice down that bunny. They're like, ooh, he is nice. So they're gonna very gently ask spring fever huh? and Roz looks like she's going to need a little more time let's see Zeus is going to stay over here next to his berry bush Loki's going to stay over here next to his berry bush and let's see Shadeberry needs a mate A and G alright I'm going to send Shadeberry up towards uh, Loki. And Tanzanite's going to come over here and he's just going to start picking at the grass. Right along with Baneberry. Oh. And Semiko lost her mate. And I think she's going to wa wander up over that way as well. And Molly's going to go right along with his with his mother. And pick, pick, pick. Okay. And the family grows even more. Oh my goodness. All right. One more day. Hold on. Somebody's still got a whole lot of moves. Who are you? That's right, you're Zeus. Zeus. Stay right there. Clear out the area. Looking good. And next day. I have to start looking for a mate for Paris. Cause I don't feel like breeding her against her brother. Let's see. A and B, B, nope. And we're going to set Athena on this nest. We'll see how she does. And we have Mira over here, who is an adult now, so she gets a name. So let's see. She is definitely part of our hero line. What's a good hero name? Ah, I need hero names. Hmm. Let's call her August. 
Good job, August. You lived. So... <laughs> Let's have... Well, somebody's going to get that bunny. There we go. Looking good. Okay. And then... These bugs are just following you, you guys. I think Freya and Jasper are going to start moving back towards their original... Um, breeding grounds. And Ron was it Ronuta. Ronuta is being a very attentive mate. And hopefully that won't hopefully these bugs over here won't bother him too much. Alright. And we have another baby. Oh, Look at these big ears. I love them. Let's see. And she's part of the berry, berry picking line. So her name is going to be looking down my berry picking list. Hmm. Let's call her you. You berry. That berry over there. You berry. All right. And let's take a look at, oh my goodness, patterns. Anna Rico. You're an awesome looking girlfriend. Let's see. Now, her mother is definitely strongly part of the fighting line. So, Anariko, where's your... Nah, there you go. Anariko needs a, needs a name for my gem list. Let's call her Moldavite. Moldavite. Looking good. All right. And you, Barry? All right, and these guys have a little bit of cracking, so that's great. Can't even scratch it. Okay. All right, let's see. Looking good. Y'all don't want it when you y'all don't want to mess with Molly. Anyway. I'm just listening to the birds swoop, swoop in and out. It's really quite terrifying. Uh okay, and Baneberry. Okay. Mistletoe must have passed away. Oh, mistletoe. All right. And I think we have time for one more day. Nope. And Isray, you're just not going to cut it. So we're going to call her, we're going to name her Tari again. Actually, no, no, we're not going to call her Tari. We're going to call her Aqua. We're going to call it Aqua. Aqua and Athena are going to move slowly but surely away from the, uh, from the nesting site. There are bunnies everywhere. Oh my goodness. I keep hearing you. Go away. Hmm. 
All right, we are having a problem with bunny infestation. Yep. Baneberry, your time has come. Something splashing around the water. Hmm. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong water. All right, let's see what this side of the family's up to. Oh, Baryina is what we're up to. How did that happen, and how did we not notice? Okay. Move the cubs. Losing our cubs to you. That's just no. Okay. Alright, and these two are going to throw down some nests. Meanwhile, our big boy over here is going to run down and run down the side of the cliff and make sure everybody else is safe. Okay. And this is why, this is exactly why we, we, we have to have a, a lot of strength and numbers in our tribe. Because you never know who's going to need what. Okay. Looking good. Oh my goodness. So much. Okay. Looks like... Tazanite's gonna have to book it if he can book it. Can you book it, buddy? Nope, he's slow. Alright. So, next time we will have to deal with the Baryena and the Baryena cub that wandered into our tribe. And hopefully everything will work itself out. And we'll have Helen sit in this nest. And we'll see about these two making a cub later. Woo! All right, here we go. It's been fun playing with you guys. I am Miss C, and I will see you later. Bye!